What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Danny. And Rob and Josh couldn't be here today, so it's just the fucking handsome two some here. Just the two of us. Just hanging out. Just taking, the two of us. taking shots, hanging out, you know. Let's go. And that was first on the agenda, folks. Shots. <laughs> Rob's not here to say what's first on the agenda, and we just start fucking up, dude. You know what I mean? So, uh... What's cracking? 30,000 streams. Bro, we just broke 30,000 streams for Reach, uh, like, yesterday, two days ago, something like that. Something like that. And uh, it's still just overwhelmingly awesome for all the support that you guys have given us, and we can't thank you enough, and... Uh, you got anything to say about that? No, it's just, it's nice. It's nice seeing people, you know, when you, when you do something like that, it's nice when you, uh, you know, you, you know, and understand that it's, it's touching people. It's yeah. Good. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, man. It's just nice to see. Uh, I mean, I think I've said it before, but when you do something that connects with people in a certain way, it's something that artists dream of. Yeah. You know, because not uh, not everybody gets to experience that even once. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's cool. I mean, the fan base that we have already loves our music in general, but this song has helped spread our music to more people. And that's cool. Welcome aboard. If you're just finding out about us now, you know, subscribe to the podcast. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like we yeah. do the podcast. Yeah. We're on everything. Uh, all streaming platforms. Listen to our music. You guys... Continue to, to share the music, continue to tell your friends and family, continue to make videos with it. It all helps. Every single bit of it helps. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, even even just clicking the like and leaving a comment, any of that, it's just... Simple as that. Buy a shirt, you know, support yeah. it, you know. Yeah. Speaking of which, we will have some new merch out pretty soon. Oh, uh, yeah. actually, we do have one piece of merch that's new. Uh, we released Remain on Tame sweaters. Mm. So... I I noticed. I know that was reason, being was, talked about. For yeah. A while. Well, I, I also I was like, why isn't it a sweater? I was like, we could just throw on a sweater. So like, uh, a coworker of mine was like, hey man, I really want to get one of your sweaters, but I want to remain untamed one. I'm like, I'll, I'll take like, care of that for you. Hold, hold on, please. <laughs> I was like, hold my beer, bro. Yeah. So, uh, well, technically, I did when I told him that because I told you about it. So that was me taking care of it. But producer Watch Jess. Out now is uh, a big mastermind behind the scenes for what we do here. And we all appreciate everything she does for us. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. And, uh, you know, you can find our music on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok for as long as it's still going to be around, bro. Sick. Yeah. Wait, you like that? Dude? You like that? <laughs> you like that segue? So TikTok. TikTok, dude. TikTok is wilding out, bro. It's not even TikTok that's wilding out. It's our government. So. Well, and, and it's crazy. It's wild to me, too, because I've seen a, like we were talking earlier, I've seen a pretty big change in TikTok where I see, I mean, cooking pots and phone microphone things. I mean, it's just, it's just flooded right now. It's, it's kind of crazy. Everything is a TikTok shop. Everything. Plug, and everything. then and then same kind of time this whole Congress thing hits and they're voting for it and yeah. we'll see what happens. You it's know? just it's crazy to me. Like uh, you know, we we talked about this before, <clears throat> you know, off camera. I think it's wild that our government that cannot come to an agreement on health care, on social security, on uh yeah. just you know, the economy on anything. We can't get them to agree about fucking nothing. But hey, this app that people can communicate on, we need to fucking stop that. Yeah, well, like you know? this, this app where people are sharing ideals and yeah. and art and all this different stuff. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. And for uh, all you red cap dumbasses, uh, you know. We love you. We love you. But like, um, if your argument is, well, China's getting our information Worry about Facebook and Instagram and all our other stuff that's here in the United States that collects our information that they willingly sell yeah. to anybody. And aren't so, the servers here in the United States anyways? I, I believe I they believe were. I, believe they are. I think that that was uh, when they attempted. The Oracle, I think, is who's yeah, hosting all of that. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, there was a great video. I think I sent it to you where they were where they were grilling the dude from TikTok about like, do you have any connections with China and this and that? And he's just like, he's bro, like, I'm, he's like, I'm not even from, I'm from there, Singapore. dude. I'm from Singapore. Yeah, and like he just kept once again, I'm from Singapore. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> and it wasn't great because it was like, 
it, the the video was what what two clips give off the same vibe. Right. It was that, and then it was like a scene from King of the Hill. Yeah, where it was where like Hank really, Hill. Where they're yeah, really, the, uh, what's his name? The neighbor Khan? I think his name. I think so. Yeah. And they're like, so are you Chinese or Japanese? And he's like, <laughs> like he's not on the. Like, he I'm tells them those. geographically exactly yeah, like, where he, he comes like, from. This is exactly where I'm from. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, so, so are you there. Chinese or Japanese? <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Yeah, man. But yeah, I just for me, it's uh, I already kind of backed out of the metaverse. Yeah, you know, and you did. Uh, yeah, I really. If that's the only real option to go to, it's like, man, this sucks. You know, yeah. like I, I'm. There's got to be some some other direction to go, you know? So here's the thing. Apps come and go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to suck. We have a really big follow. Our our following majority relies on TikTok for us. So that's not even, I'm not even going to sugarcoat that. Yeah. That's exactly the reason why we are able to do the numbers and stuff that we have been doing is because of TikTok. Right. Our Facebook I don't even think has 500 followers. Like people don't just even, don't follow people on Facebook anymore. I've like never. That. I don't even think I've seen our yeah <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. Well, page. I barely. I barely see it too. So, right. but like um, honestly, because Facebook is very much uh, you got to pay to push your stuff. Yeah. Or the, literally, they won't even sh let the people who follow your page see your page. Right. Unless like you pay for. Hey, do you want? If you pay, you know, 20 bucks for this post. We'll your make friends, sure your friends we'll make see sure <laughs> that uh ten percent of the people that follow you see it. It's like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. So uh I think that's the reason why Facebook, as far as like for musicians, kind of died out. Like it's not I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm sure it works if you're a humongous band, but for you know, small independent artists, it's really hard to gain a following on Facebook because of that. Yeah. Um I get it. You need money to promote, you need money to it. it you need money to make money. You know what I mean? And it's, right. it's and it, and it sucks, but it's the fucking it's the cold hard truth and you know, we we do the research and we do the um the backing as far as like well, if we're going to pay for like a, like a campaign or like Spotify's doing a new feature where it's like discovery mode where like you're making sure that people are actually getting to hear your stuff when your single comes out and stuff yeah. like that. Those type of metrics, yes you can put some money behind that because it's it's real and it's people that are going to be listening to you and it's not just like random yeah. fucking it's not bots like yeah or something it's not like some that. kind you know of what I mean? botted that, playlist yeah, for or sure. something like yeah, that so, you know yeah so so like you know when you're an independent artist you really need to focus on not just throwing your money out at like being able to push your stuff but making sure it's getting pushed the right way into the right people and that it's it's targeting the audience that you're looking for yeah you know, well, and that's one yeah. thing I think is cool with uh, like Spotify's uh, like discovery mode. Yeah, is that up front there's no cost, so they just pull like a thirty percent commission out of which we're not making much off of whatever your anyways. whatever streams came through that. Yeah. So if if somebody went and listened to the music on Spotify and they just came across it, it wouldn't pull that commission. Mm. So it's kind of nice because for for a, a band that's trying to trying to go like organically, yeah, it's nice to not have that like, hey, we're throwing money up there. Mm -hmm. They're taking it out of what we're actually making. Yeah. And you know, the way I see it is I feel like there's a bit of an incentive on for them to kind of put the music out there yeah. and try to get it pushed. So I, mean, I cool feel like I mean, think about how much music is out there, dude. How much music is out there? How much music doesn't get heard? Yeah. You know, uh, uh, you know, because we were talking about this, like no, there is literally a website yes, that is dedicated you. to. There's a playlist of music songs that have, have zero have plays, zero plays, yeah. and then so if it makes it. I don't know what point they booted off of that, but one just to like go, <laughs> hey, you got some, somebody heard your stuff, you know? But yeah, dude, there's it's it's so, wild. Man. Like we're talking getting thirty thousand streams organically it's, from a, you know. Yeah, it's unsigned band. Is, it's pretty damn cool. Yeah, man. it's good. It's fucking cool, and seeing you guys comment and DM us, and I, I mean it's mostly me. I run the the social media, so like I see it all, and then I I'll fucking screenshot it and send oh, yeah. it to you guys or whatever. Like, it's really cool, man. It's so touching. It 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 will never not be amazing, yeah. and it'll never. I will never. I hope to, dude. If I ever become jaded about that shit. Make me stop making music that day, bro. <laughs> if I ever say, oh, who the fuck cares? Kick me out of the fucking band. Right. Yeah, I don't yeah, need yeah. to be Seriously. doing this anymore. Because yeah. this is why I do it. I don't do it because, don't get me wrong, 
I would love to make a great living off of this. And hopefully one day we will. That'd be and, cool, I, and I can fill it in my bones. It's going to happen. But the only reason so why like, <laughs> I want that is so that I could do more yeah, of it. And, and, that's, and that's the reason why. I, yeah. You know, like, if I can go, let's go on a tour for two weeks, make enough money to, to live comfortably for the next few months, come home and just fucking work on music. You know what, guys? Yeah. We're going to work on music hang and out hang out with the fam, go on some vaca- couple of vacations. Not too many vacations. We know people who take too many vacations. But like, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, man, you know, like, it's just one of those things where it's like, if I could do what I love at night and then come, you know, during the day, I should say, or whatever it is, if I could do what I love, just music all fucking day, go on tours here once in a while, and then just my off time is just the family, dude. Yeah. I'm fucking, I'll die a happy man tomorrow, dude. You great, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. It, that's cool. So, you know, I feel like I'm kind of talking in a circle here, but it's... it's well, like, and, you know, it's like I said, it's just, it's a challenge. And yeah. it's, you know, where do you go from here? You know, what... I feel like there's not a new platform that, that like, you could really jump to from TikTok... That's what I'm, that's what I was that was my and, original and, point. Like, was, where is that like jump to like, well, fuck the old shit. Let's yeah. go with something new. But with that being said, I'm and looking forward that? to what is gonna be the new thing because well, you're not gonna fucking keep people from communicating with with the internet anymore, right. dude. Well, it's and, just not possible. And TikTok has definitely gone the route of like you were saying, like Facebook has, you know, to where it's like you gotta pay to you know, and unless then there's all the shop you're doing stuff. the shop stuff. Dude. So yeah. if I completely agree with what you just said. I'm like, kind of let's let's let TikTok die then. Yeah, that's, just ban it, go away. Yeah. Let's get something better then that that doesn't do all of this stupid. Yeah. Like, I get it, but like, come on, like it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, you're gonna throw six advertisements just so I could see somebody I follow's video. I remember that other one that I signed us up for. Was it? Is it? Was it Clapper? Something like that? I think that might be the wrong thing. I don't know if that's... I think there was... Uh, it's, it was that, another one that was kind of like that TikTok. That sounds potentially like you were like on a... like a Yeah, like a porn site or something, right? <laughs> Does that sound like a porn site? I don't know what that is. I don't know why, but, but it's like, like... But there, there was another one. It was with an orange... Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, now. I think it but was anyways, when it, the time TikTok. The first was, time TikTok yeah, almost got banned, and it, there was another I app. think it was something like Clapper, and then there was... Uh, no, it wasn't musically. No, it was another meta one. Yeah, it was, it was like another meta one. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but um, that I didn't really care for that one, dude. That one, if uh, I honestly just deleted it from my phone because it was very much uh, it's a little too Trumpy for me on that end. It was yeah. it was a lot of it was a lot of that end of the you know of the spectrum of <laughs> of shitty ass yeah, people. There's but, a <laughs> there's a level there's, there's a level of <laughs> stupidity that I'm willing to put up with, and that it was just it. Way surpassed the fucking line for well, me. Well, that's why so. I hate. That's why I hate like TikTok. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, X, because I feel like it's just an open. Oh just my gosh, dude! Beat X the is, shit out of everybody. X and, is so horrible these yeah, days, dude. I feel it's like just, it's a place where people that want to just yeah. like. It's just full of toxic just ass people. Talk down on people. Go, you know. On that note, I want to talk about shitty ass fucking uh, music fans in general, okay? Because I know we've had this conversation before, but there's a band called Gore. That we've talked about, that yeah, we've yeah. reviewed them. They're amazing. The the lead singer, she, they're starting she works to get a for following. NASA. Yes. Dude, they're blowing the fuck up right now. Yeah. And I love it. But well, they're amazing. She post she's been posting these videos where like, and I'm, I'm glad she's got a great sense of humor about it. And mm-hmm. uh apologies because I forget your name right now. But um, if for, by some chance you come across this, uh I love that she she was doing like a video where like she was like reacting to like shitty comments about oh her, yes you know, i think i saw this like, one yeah you know oh metal's not for for women and this and that and all this other stuff and seeing her make light of the situation when i know and i'm speaking from experience of just haters being haters you know yeah. and i, I was uh, telling my wife in the car this the other day i was like it's got to be so difficult to be a female in anything let alone just fucking life yeah, well, like, look you know at, what look I mean? Like, just because people are so shitty. How dude. much crap Taylor Swift? Is, oh yeah, know? man, it's insane. Oh yeah, Taylor Swift, the one of the most successful women in the world. Yeah, and, and the people just shit all over her because she's successful. Well, you know, it's a, it's a lot of it's just a lot of fucking yeah. basement dwelling dudes mm. that have never fucking touched a titty. Uh, <laughs> it's it's 
it's that's what it is, dude. You know what I mean? It's a lot of these guys that are name three bands. Fucking why are you wearing that shirt? Like, get the <laughs> fuck out of here, dude. You know, it's it's just uh, I love how she's handling it. Yeah. She's handling it with humor. She's handling it by calling people out. There was somebody who left a comment well, on a, on a so YouTube I'm, video. Watch. So say say it like this. What a gold mine for that band to yeah. be able to throw, yeah. make content and yeah. throw that out there. Uh, uh, so like I said, I, I can't think of your name right now because I'm horrible with names in general, but you're doing a tremendous job at handling it the way you're handling it. And, uh, you have a bunch of haters because you're doing something right. Yeah. And you guys are going to blow the fuck up. You guys already are. And I can't wait to see where you guys go. Um, but there was a, there was a YouTube, uh, there was a YouTube comment video that she made where somebody was like, oh, you know, I'd rather you on your spare time just focus and keep your nose in the books and stuff like that. Uh, Cause I don't want like metalheads in NASA running our stuff or whatever like that. And she just replied with a comment like, oh, thanks for your opinion. You know, I'm really, I'm really, uh, She's like, she, something along the lines of like, I'll make sure to let my boss know about your shitty opinion, but I don't think he's really going to care, you know, like type deal thing. Yeah. And I love it so much. I'm like, oh, that's the way you handle these motherfuckers. That's, dude. What, like, yeah. that's what you do. You that's know, do it. just fucking tuck them back in the hole that they crawled out of. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, uh, I, I saw an article the other day that was talking about uh, kind of same thing, but it was more in the line of like video games. Yeah. And they were they did a study on people who talk trash in video games, and they found they found that eighty percent of the people who they considered talk trash on video games, eighty percent of them suck. Oh yeah, dude, They're just the get better at video games, dude. Players, just tell me, you are out there play. talking shit. Just you know who you, you are. You, you suck, know who you are, dude. Eighty percent of That's you. That's right, Rob. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just say you suck, Rob. You know who you are, right, Rob. Man. Come on, I'm tired of the text messages, bro. Come on. Rob's on there. <laughs> like, stop playing Fortnite, dude. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> put it down. Put some, play some hell divers, bro. Let's go. Spread democracy. <laughs> Freedom. Freedom. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, uh, uh, I, I think I saw some of those videos, and I might have made a comment to a few people, and they might have not been that <laughs> nice of comments, if I think about it. Well, look in my comment history after this. And this is what so. I love about Daddy is that Daddy will go like troll hunting. Okay, yes. he will literally go troll hunting and then just fucking sp spread them with the fucking truth, dude. And I love it so much because you're not, you don't sugarcoat anything, and you you basically let them know you're a fucking idiot, dude. Like you know. Well, there <laughs> was there was I, I'm not gonna say your name, but there was a singer from a pretty popular band that I had come across <laughs> and interacted with at uh on tour and uh i actually did audio for them and the guy's just he's a kind of real alpha kind of male and you know he is what he is and uh there was a comment made online and then he stepped up and said kind of what would you know and then i said something and they fucking crickets, crickets and this bro. dude is known for like blasting back at people yeah and it was just i was way i was like it's coming and then just crickets and i was like yeah. Good for for the record, it's not falling in reverse because I'm pretty sure that's what people are going to think it is. It's yeah, not it's, not, not yeah. <laughs> it's not that. It's not him. No, <laughs> not that's him. not it. <laughs> but I can see as much uh, talk as there always is in that, in yeah, that, that area. Yeah, that, area that people would think it's them, yeah. but like it's not them. No, it's not. Yeah. yeah. But no. uh, I mean, come out of Ronnie. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> The only, the only thing I want to do is we could have beef, but we'll we'll do it during a show, and it'll all be in good fun. It'll all be in good fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, no, dude. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about our next single. I know we talked about it last week. We, you know, we pl started plugging it. Yeah. Um, Fine, I'll Do It Myself comes out 420. I'm fucking excited about it. We got our first mix of it today. I think we're going to prob probably get yeah, like one more, maybe two more adjustments that need to be done to it. We were talking about. Yeah, it sounds like everything lined sound, up to me. But other than that, it sounds amazing. Marvin, fantastic job as always. Um yeah, man, uh, it's. I just can't wait for people to hear this song, dude. Yeah. And uh, Rob and Jess put together um, some artwork for the shirt and the artwork uh, for the album. And the artwork the, from the, the album, song yeah. single cover, and um, I think the canvas too. and the canvas as it looks well. Great. And all three of them, I'm more in love with the shirt design than I am. But and I and I love like the canvas and like the thumbnail artwork as well. But the shirt design is so freaking awesome, dude. Yeah, I, I love it so much. I can't wait for us to release that. Yeah. It's going to be great. No, I like the design of it. I think it's cool. Yeah. 
But yeah, man, uh, Find a Do It Myself comes out in like in about a month. Because I think when this drops, it'll be, what's today? Today we're recording on a Tuesday right now. So yeah, it'll be in less than a month because this yeah. comes out on the 21st. Yeah. So uh, that's, I mean, dude, I feel like March just flew by. Before we know it, it's going to be release day. So yeah, you know? I, I, I mean, March? Like what the hell happened to like... January, February. Yeah, I like... Yeah. yeah. And then next month, kind and then blur. it's going to be May. Oh shit, dude, you know what I mean? You know what I heard? Real quick, okay. I heard there was a trailer dropping today for a new Star Wars show. Is that true? Yeah, I, I haven't seen it, so I don't want to. I know I can't really say too much, yeah, um, because I haven't seen the trailer because it's supposed to drop today, okay, and I haven't checked. But I hear it's the the movie is, uh, series, it's a series, it's going to be set like a hundred years before. Oh, so I'm kind of like finally we're stepping out of fucking the, skywalker yeah. saga you know what i'm saying and we're i think we might be getting into some other shit which is really cool that's dope dude honestly some of my favorite star wars stories have been the stuff that's not centered around the luke saga same here uh yeah. the mandalorian is fan fucking fantastic yeah dude. i even enjoyed uh what was it book of book of, book of Boba. Fett. yeah yeah uh, the, that that was great yeah, um, there was uh, Andor was good, and uh, yeah. that's I gotta rewatch Ahsoka. that one because I was uh, Ahsoka is awesome. Yeah, that, yeah, that's awesome. But we do we gotta give Andor another try because the first episode didn't grab me. Right, and it's then, a little slow going at and, first, and I'm at that point to where like when people are like, "What you just said, it's a little slow, but give it a few episodes and it gets good." I'm at that point where I'm like, I don't want to give something a few episodes. <laughs> Be good from the beginning. Right. It's called first impressions, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, but like, but like, think like, of think of like. Okay, so Breaking Bad was like that for me. Really? Yeah, where, Dude, it, it, I where, was in love with it. Where from it, day I don't one. feel like it really hooked me until I was I was. But when I started watching it, I already knew that everybody said this is amazing. This is an awesome show. You should watch it. So I already knew to hold on. But like, if I didn't, I don't think it might have. It might not have caught me right. Okay, away. give me a movie, a TV show, and a video game that you wish you could erase from your memory and experience again for the first time. Oh. I'll go first. Okay? okay. So for me, video game, it's Red Dead Redemption Two, one of the best fucking video game stories ever told. Yeah. Um, no, it's and it's just one of the. I mean, and I love the first Red Dead Redemption, but I just think that Red Dead Redemption Two polished everything that I didn't care for in the first game. Yeah. And the level of detail in that game is extraordinary. Right. Yeah. And uh, I still play it to this day online. You know, yeah. I still play, I still play online, we, you know, with my buddies, we gather up the posse and we fucking go. Hell yeah. But uh, TV, uh, TV series wise, it's Breaking Bad. For me, it's Breaking Bad. Right. Uh, if I could experience Breaking Bad for the first time again, dude, that show was incredible, man. I mean, I remember, uh, babe, was it the was it um, the was it the year that the last season was coming out that we streamed it? Yeah. yeah. So we just it was a it, we just happened to be like, oh, we need something to watch, and she's like, uh, and then I was like, oh, you know what? I don't even know if it was you or, or I that said it, but we're like, let's try Breaking Bad. Yeah. We binge watched the entire first season in the in one night. <laughs> I was like that we were fucking hooked, dude. And then we were able to catch up on the entire series before like the the finale happened. Dang. And we started watching the last season with, with it on television like that, dude. That's how much we loved Breaking Bad, dude. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I think for me I would say uh the uh NES Metroid. Oh, that's yeah. a good choice. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, I would be finding that. out finding out it's a, a chick at the end. Yeah. Just well, just the whole game. Yeah. I always loved that game, so it was always you know like me and me and cut my kids. We always play it all the time. Yeah, so. Metroid's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then I think uh, movie, TV show, whatever. I would probably go Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings or Harry yeah. Potter. Harry Potter's a good. I like Harry Potter. It's good. To me, Lord of the Rings is just three movies about walking. I don't. It's like a lot it. of that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of walking. So, uh, but uh, I watched it, yeah. and then the, what, that's the movie with the eagles at the end, right? Yeah, that they could have just used the Eagles the whole time. Yeah, I was like, I was so mad, dude. I was like, but he yeah, had no. fucking Eagles this entire time. <laughs> I was like, call the Eagles, bro. Fly over the mountain. Drop the ring. It's done. <laughs> I feel like they should have wrote in a little snippet that like, 
made that to where I'm I'm sure maybe in the books they explain why, but like they, it's not explained in the movies, dude. Well, then if they added it into the movies, that's a whole. I think the Hobbit, there might have been, mm. but I don't remember. I'd have to. It's been so long since I actually read the books, but it's been more recent that I read the Hobbit over and. I remember there being eagles. I think it was in the Hobbit. I'm not sure about other things. Somebody would be able to tell. Yeah. But and then for me, movie wise, it would be uh, Inglorious Bastards. Okay, I mean, that movie's fucking. That movie's great. Dope, dude. Yeah, yeah, that movie's awesome. TV series. I don't know. I guess uh, I'd have. To, well, it's not even done yet, but I would have to go Stranger Things. Yeah, Stranger Things would be. Dude, the one what is I would go. what is the deal? Like, is there? There's got to be something weird going on, politic wise, with that show, dude. Because why does it take seven years for each season to drop? And, and well, sometimes some people scheduling and stuff like that. Yeah, there was the strike yeah. oh, that that's happened, right. the strike so happened. I know that. And then COVID, the COVID happened, happened, and then I know that there's been a few actors. I wasn't asking for actual reasons, guys. Cause now I look like a dumbass. I feel like there's like, been a few people that have been doing some kind of bigger things. Yeah, uh, like Eleven. Uh, yeah, what's her name? Miley Bobby uh, Brown. Bob, Millie Bobby Millie, Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. She just did a Netflix movie called Damsel. Uh, have you seen that? But dude, she's like 30 now, dude. I know. That's what's wild about like this I think show. She's is like, like 20. Yeah, she's I know. like I'm 19 joking. or I'm, 20, right? I am being dramatic about well, yeah. it. She's not, she's, I know <laughs> she's not 30. She's, she's done, very beautiful. I'm she's, not saying she's ugly. I'm, I'm in my 40s. Does that mean I'm ugly? <laughs> she's done yes. a few Netflix movies. I know, I know that for sure yeah. over the last few years. So, And then I know that uh, the guy that plays Hopper, mm -hmm. he's done a couple other yeah. movies too. So scheduling he, and... Who knows? Uh, yeah, he did the... Um, that Santa Claus one. That Black Widow movie. Yeah. He did the Black Widow movie. Oh, dude. Have you seen Violet Knight? Violet Knight was yeah, amazing. I didn't see it, but I, I know it. he's in that. Yeah. It's probably my favorite Christmas movie now. There you go. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, um, I just think it's weird that it's taken so long for that show to have their final season. And uh, I've even heard like that the cast has gotten so much older now yeah. that in order to continue to tell the story that they're having to de-age them digitally for this new season. I would just, I mean, push just it Just do further. a time jump. Yeah, just, just to do a time yeah, jump, right? I feel yeah. like you kind of rewrite and build in a little bit of time. But yeah, but yeah, it's wild that, that they're talking about de-aging a 20-year-old to look younger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, somebody in their mid-20s. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, we got a few minutes left, bro. Do you want to do one of these... Uh, yeah, what do you want to do? What is this? Is this hot take right here, bro? This first one? Or, well, no. You know what? Go with this one. This is a would you rather. Okay. Go for it. Would you rather have to loudly stream, sing the chorus for Bohemian Rhapsody or every time you walk into a room or have to perform, perform a, a moonwalk every time you leave a room? It's a moonwalk. I would moonwalk. I'd moonwalk. Into the room and out. out of the room. I'd moonwalk to the person I'm talking to. I'd rock moonwalk to the bathroom. Bro, I'd moonwalk <laughs> exactly, dude. If I could, if I could moonwalk, it, it would be my way of walking. They would call it the Mark walk. You know what I mean? Like the Mark walk. It was just. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. That's, that's oh, he's doing, he's doing the Mark walk. Mark. He's doing the Mark. You get there a lot dude. faster if he walked forward, but you know whatever. <laughs> and then somebody walks in. Oh, I'm just a <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that's great. What about you? This is the moonwalk. As I well? do. I would rather. I mean, I'd rather moonwalk because I could at least like sneak, try to sneak moonwalking. But you walk in singing that shit. That's and everybody, true. That is true. You could, I, I could sneak sneaking around, dude. Take uh, my shoes off. Dude, imagine, off. dude, like the moonwalk bandit, bro. Just like moonwalking into people's houses, still. Dude, shit. You could sneak. That's like a whole new like level of. That's like a an upgrade to your stealth abilities. It you is know? true. Yeah, uh, that's that's great. We're gonna do this one last one right here. Right. It's <laughs> I love this one for so it's so dumb that I, I love it so much. Would you rather have every movie you watch slowly turn into Shrek halfway through, or have every song you listen to slowly morph into All Star by Smash Mouth? And <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Shrek movie because I'm a musician and I would hate for yeah. every one of our songs to be I'm, fucking. <laughs> although although it would kill me. I mean, not that Shrek's like a terrible, I love Shrek, but like. As long as it's Shrek too. Shrek too's good. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to watch Shrek all the time, but I definitely don't want to hear. I mean, if I was Rob, I might want to hear Smash Mouth all the time. I think <laughs> we know. Good. I, I would mean, love Rob's answer I think we question. know what Rob's answer. <laughs> I would, would love be. Rob's answer to this I question. Think, I think we make a poll and make Rob answer the poll. <laughs> this poll's just for just Rob. Just for Rob. <laughs> Would he rather 
Shrek or Smash Mouth? Yeah, or would you rather smash Shrek? Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh man, you guys, this has been the last days of Warcast. We are Southern California based band, the last days of war. You can check out all of our stuff all around all streaming platforms. Check out the link in the bio. Thank you so much. We love you all. Bye.